We have another case, and it's a pleasure to ask now our chairman and the organizer of this fantastic meeting, Stefan. We are looking forward to your presentation. Dear colleagues, we would like to present you another case from Zurich. I'm here with Dr. Yakovenko from the Oberich Clinic in Kiev. And uh, I'm here with my nurses, Bojena and Anna. And we would like to demonstrate you now a 47-year-old female. This patient developed in February an acute necrotizing pancreatitis. And then in the follow-up, patient developed a pancreatic pseudocyst of about 7 centimeters. We have examined this patient eight weeks ago, and first we decided to wait. However, patient came back now with an acute pancreatitis and with an increase of the size of the pseudocyst. And um, we are switching now to the endoscopic image. And here you see this uh, pseudocyst, which uh, measures about 10 centimeters. And on the basis, you see here nicely um, necrotic material within the cyst. We are going to demonstrate you now a drainage of this uh, pseudocyst with necrotic material using the new hot spaxos stent. And this stent has a cautery enhanced portion on the top. As you can see here. And the system is an all-in-one system. With this portion we will puncture the cyst, we will introduce the delivery system and then we will deliver the stent. So I'm now going to introduce the system. We will energize now the system and introduce the system into the pseudocyst. You can appreciate that the system is now in the pseudocyst, uh, you can see this on the endoscopic image, and now we are switching to X-ray. The point is, we would like to demonstrate you the delivery by X-ray, but um, actually it is not necessary to X-ray. When you watch at the X-ray, you can nicely see an outer and a center marker. And now Bujena is um, delivering the inner part, and you nicely see how these markers going to overlap. And you nicely see how the stent is going to deploy and now stop both markers um, now overlapped. And in this situation, I'm going to retract the system and I switch back to the endoscopic image. And now, I'm trying to show you the blue marker. Here's the blue marker. And now Rosanna can deliver the second part of the stent. Okay, now Bojena is delivering the system. Okay, right up Bojena. Now the stent is deployed. There's a lot of fluid coming out. Okay, now the stent is open. Here you can see the stent. At the moment we have not so good vision because there's a lot of fluid. But here you can see very nicely into the cavity. So the stent is successfully deployed. After deployment of this uh, hot spaxo system, we would like to try now to go into this uh, pseudocyst cavity. And uh, for this I'm using a pediatric endoscope of Olympus, the H190N. And I'm carefully forwarding the endoscope um, 
to the stand. Now we are in front of the stand. And uh, you can see nicely here the cavity with the necrotic material. Now the question is, if this necrotic material is already released from the wall, we can take it out. So I'm using now a soft snare, but before I'm trying to remove the necrotic material, I will check if this material is still stuck to the wall. And I think this is the case here. So in this situation, I would not perform an endoscopic necrosectomy um, immediately after the drainage of this fluid collection. I would wait a little bit and the advantage is that we have a good um, access to the cavity. Um, we would check the inflammatory parameters in the next days and then we will decide from there. Thank you very much. Thank you, Stefan. Uh, so obviously you already uh, implanted the stand and now the question is how to remove necrotic material. Yes. I think this is always a huge channel. Yes, in this um, situation, in this patient, mm. we placed a hot spaxos stand and uh, now um, we have the situation that we can access the cavity but uh, how to deal with the necrotic material and um, I think um, maybe 15 years ago we would have been very aggressive to scratch out all the necrosis and um, I think there are some studies also from the US uh, to do all quick, all in one, uh, immediately <coughs> after stand placement, but I think the strategy has changed. We are now more um, careful, we are waiting and um, the question is, um, do we need to flush the cavity? Um, our strategy in this patient is first to uh, wait and see, to watch the inflammatory parameters. I think thanks to the metallic stents, as I mentioned, we have good access, but with the necrosectomy, this I would make dependent on the situation of the inflammatory parameters in this patient. Maybe, Janine, what is your position? Yeah, if I look at the content that's really uh, really in, yeah, you can give it a try and see what the clinical situation is doing. If it's not uh, improving or staying stable, uh, you could either the next step go for a nasocystic uh, flushing catheter, but your patient might not like you for that because that's a quite stiff catheter through your nose. Uh, another option is to use an endorotor, so you try to get it out in, in small pieces. So if you're going to use the endorotor, and if I look at the amount of tissue that's in, you have to block quite a time slot. It's not that you just go in and half an hour later you are done. Mm -hmm. So I think that's one of the things we had in the beginning. We thought with this endorotor we can do this kind of quick fix, but it, it takes still several time. Mm. What I also want to mention is the metallic stents for sure are optimal to be used if you have necrotic material. But my question is now, if you have removed all the necrotic material, uh, how do we proceed? Because many of these patients have a complete pancreatic duct disruption. So um, the reality is then that we remove the metallic stent and we place a plastic stent. How is um, your approach after the successful necrosectomy? Yeah, I think it depends quite a bit if there's still a collection. So you can get the pigtail into something. And I found that's cumbersome quite some times that you take out the metal stand that there's no collection behind anymore. And can you really get in? So what I now starting to do is just to place the pigtail through the metal stand and then you can slowly take over the uh, hot axis over the plastic endoprothesis. And that seems to be working better than just trying to find your way uh, again. Mm -hmm. So I tend to replace a pigtail and then uh, just start it up to do that when there's still a metal stent in situ. So we reschedule the patients after three or four weeks. And then I think it's mandatory to perform a MRCP and depending uh, on of the question, is there a, a pancreatic disconnection? If uh, there is a disconnection, then of course you need a long-term transgastric drainage forever. Uh, otherwise, you can remove the stents if the necrotic cavity completely disappeared. Okay, thank yeah, you very much. Interesting cases.